I'm Sir Taptap, and last episode on Through Abandoned 2, The Forest, we found a whole new world. We found a desert world from the forest world, and then there's a space world, and it's getting complicated, but even more complicated than this game's plot is this puzzle that's really silly. But I looked up a walkthrough, so take it away, past Tap Tap. Okay, so this doesn't make any sense. Um, but... Oh, I have the wrong one selected. I think that's this. You gotta... <laughs> okay, that worked and it made the exact same sound as all of the times when it didn't work. Um, I'm sorry, but this is not, <laughs> this is not a good puzzle. I, I hate to say that, but this... I've not had crazy amounts of trouble with anything else here, but this does not make any sense. Wait, I'm even looking, oh no, I think he messed it up in the guide. And okay, it was this, that. All right, this does not make any sense. I, I can't even imagine how this was meant to be figured out other than just blind luck. The symbols don't, that, That did not make any sense. What? Oh, there was a thing in there! Wait, guy. Wait, guys. Wait, th there was a key in there, and it was, like, open, and we just- Didn't we just reach in there? I thought, was, I thought that was, like, an open window. Whatever. We have... We have a container to in which to pour the forbidden jelly. So... Let's go get- Let's- I know that he said it was a weapon of mass destruction could destroy the entire world, but oh. Oh, sippy cup. Sippy cup! Drink. Drink the forbidden liquid! Oh, we can't, we can't drink it. Oh, man. <laughs> Whatever. Just pour it on the ground. Destroy, destroy the whole world. No? Alright, I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling! need to put it in here. Oh! The liquid like powers the tree? Oh, it melts these. Got it. Okay. Spooky. Hey, isn't that that? Oh! This is another puzzle that's really stupid. And I'm just gonna go ahead and... Guys, it's not letting me do the thing. No. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I thought it was here. And there's like one over here. No? Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm on the finish line. I can feel the entrance to the refuge is somewhere near. I wish you could solve the secret behind the door with seven lamps. Door with seven lamps. Uh, that was the room. That was the torture room. All right, I still, I still have the, um, I still have the video open. So I'm just gonna. Actually. It, There we go. <gasps> Wait. That's... That's just where we came from! There was, there was no purpose to being here! I guess that just shows that the... The, the secret m mystery people were like... Ha having a smoke break and just doing... You know... Stuff watching the torture room, I, I guess. Oh, that's what those things were. All right. Oh, how convenient. Okay, that's that one. And the other one needs to be horizontal. All right, that's not too hard, that's not too hard. Hmm. I have no idea how long this video is, um, cause I had to split it. Um, I'm just gonna make it all one video though, I think. Unless it, oops. 
Unless it ends up crazy long, but I don't think it will be. So I think we'll just have all this game in one thing. Um, this I'm having a big brain moment here. There we go. Did we go? Oh! Huh? What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? I can't press him. Huh? My dear brother, you have to f follow me and travel to the new world. The forest people called it refuge. I hope that you will be able to reach here, reach me there, and together we will find more answers. Good luck. Did you read it's ominous. Um, looks like a little face. I'm gonna take it. That's the door to refuge. Seems we can't get there yet. Probably because of these. Interesting. Uh, but no, we open. Ah, we open this up. Oh. So you have solved the task in the looped rooms after the sixth door and found the last secret. The brain teaser is in fact an interpretation of a popular riddle frequently used during job interviews with programmers. The original task is about a train, cars of which create a vicious circle. Forest doors lead to different worlds. The player can explore only one tree and eight doors, but how many of them are in the forest? Possibly thousands. The location of the infinite staircase and the secret passage was inspired by the dystopic novel Jan Weiss' um, House of a Thousand Floors. Main character wakes up in a strange place, remembers nothing, even his own name. Getting out of the endless staircase, he eventually appears in one of the most impregnable places on Earth. Muller House, a thousand floor skyscraper. Separate, it is a separate totalitarian state under the rule of mysterious Orgesphere. Orgesphere? Muller. So these are like secret developer commentary things. I don't think that's, oh, that's interesting. Um, but I don't think that's required to beat the game. I think there's a few hidden extra secrets um, beyond just beating the game. Sorry to say, we probably won't be getting all of those. Um, well, actually, they might not be too hard to. There might not be a lot of work extra. I guess we could probably do them. Alright. This thing. Okay. This is a guide dang it moment, and we're just gonna use a guide dang it. Um, Alright, you gotta make a dick, and then you gotta make the sun. Alright. Got it. Not kidding. Not doing a jape. Um, then I gotta go... Wait. Hmm. Um, then I gotta make... There it is. Okay. Interesting. Um, you want this key? Oh, it's the key box. Got to give it all the keys, I guess. Goodbye, Mr. Key Man. I'll miss you. I live on forever in our dreams. I wonder if that opens that- that does appear to be the thing for the, uh, door. I believe that will end our game. So... I'm gonna see if, real quick, I can find the other secrets here. You guessed it. It's future tap tap again. So, what we're gonna do... The secret hunting was a lot longer than I thought it would be. It's about 15 minutes. I'm gonna put it in its own video. One of the secrets I just couldn't get. So things are gonna be slightly out of order. Um, I'm just gonna put the ending right here. So this ending, this video is just neatly the ending of the game. And next time we're gonna see all the secrets, which are pretty cool. I think this is the ending. Um, I don't like that one of them is like missable. That's, that's not okay when the rest of the game isn't like that. But jeez, this was longer than I expected. Um, I might have to split this up into two. 
I'll see how long the video is. I can't tell. It was, it's in so many pieces. I'll, I'll do some editing and see what we can do. Incoming message. Is anybody there? Someone? Yeah, I'm here. Looks like I'm not the only one who survived. Where are you? I think I'm at the entrance to the refuge. Who are you? I thought that I was alone here. Are you from the forest world? From the outside? I'm not from the forest. Are you thinking of the refuge? Going to the refuge? Yes. Are you there? I don't know where I am. I was among the refugees. Yes. Probably in the refuge. It's dark. What happened? We ran here for the forest. The conductor opened the door. It seemed like we did not make it. There was a strong crash or explosion. There's a few. I assume, considering those were Russian novels and there's just slight translation, translation or English issues. Um... And from the name, name's kind of a big giveaway, but I assume probably native language Russian for the creator here, but not too many mistakes, really. Just a couple things that's like, hmm. Um, I wouldn't have written it that way, but, you know. It's kind of funny how some things, like a strong crash, that doesn't... S I'm not sure how I could explain to you why a native English speaker wouldn't really write that, but it just kind of is. I'm not sure it's even syntactically incorrect, it's just like, I can kind of tell that, that that seems like something a Russian that knows English as a second language would write. It doesn't seem like a, anyway, not a big deal. Just, just interesting how language works. I awaken! It's dark here. I feel nothing. I have my own neuro interface. That's how I've been sending messages to the network from time to time. But no one answered before you arrived. Connection lost. Oh no! Oh, connection restored. Oh, they got, they got spotty Wi-Fi here. What happened in the forest? It had to happen sooner or later. The old predictions. No one believed in them. We worshipped the thing that destroyed us. We were gone to different worlds. See, sent. We were sent to different worlds. Most of them went to the refuge. What are you talking about? Darkness. I am here. Why don't I feel my body? I'm in the western part. You have to get to the temple. Remember. Connection failed. Rest to continue. Access granted. Door is opening. I guess there was a little transmission terminal before the door in case you want to talk. To be continued in Refuge. Unfortunately, I did notice Refuge has mixed reviews on Steam. Um, but I I really enjoyed that. I think I will check out the rest of these games. I did not... I did not expect to do a full playthrough and I really got hooked on that. Um, yeah, especially if the game first game is a little bit shorter, maybe. Uh, oh. This is, what's this? It's like, whoa! Jeez! I'm putting in work! That, wow. That is a lot of language supports. Support. Igor Krutov, uh, lore game design animations. Young V. Smolkin. What's with, um. Is Russia considered Eastern European? I mean,. Technically, Russia is like mostly in Asia, but you don't really usually think of Russians as Asians, do you? Um, but yeah, um, Amanita Design is also a great company that, um, great studio that makes uh, good point and clicks with kind of a really interesting vibe. Um, it's just interesting to my brain that uh, I know a few people from um, that general part of the world with really interesting point and click games. I don't feel like I don't feel like us westerners make well, I mean we make point and click games, but I don't know. It's just different. And and I like it a lot. Like I said, it kinda had a mist vibe, but it also had kind of that Amanita design. Um less comedic value than Amanita design stuff, but uh really interesting. I did, it did say the first one was a little bit rough, but hey, um, after this one, I think I'm going to check out the other ones. So, hopefully this video isn't like, if this video is like an hour long, which I think it probably is, um, I'll have to uh, split it into like two or something, but I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> I hate splitting videos because like nobody watches, well, I mean, the people do, but like you lose like half of people, even just if you do a two video series. Like, half the people that watch the first one don't watch the second one. It's it's kind of demoralizing. I mean, some people you see, all you need to see, you don't really, you're not really feeling the game, and I get that, but it's it's still it's still demoralizing as a creator. Um, I'll think about it. 
anyway, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe so you see uh, whenever I play the next games. Um, if you like the game, either like, leave a like or let me know in the comments. And if you know that last secret, if you have that URL, uh, please do leave that in the comments. I, I really want to see that, and I, I'm not really sure what what that meant, like how to input that URL. The, I don't... That was like Unicode garbage, more or less. I don't know how to input that. And I'm not even sure exactly what Unicode symbols that was meant to be. So if you have a link, that'd be much easier for me. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.